Hey little hoes, my name is Kristen and welcome back to my channel. I hope y'all are doing well. Last week I skipped doing videos, I just needed a break. It had been a particularly rough work week and stressful, so I just decided to take some me time, but I am back and raring to go. Lately I have been feeling like I want to propagate a lot of stuff that I own. and. Especially like aeroids and things that are pretty easy and fast growing. I don't know why, but I just want to freaking chop everything. And today I am going to be doing that. I don't know if it's an interesting video or not, but I thought I would show you some of the things that I'm going to propagate. Now, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all these plants if they take root. Um... I kind of want to start selling some plants, maybe do a few trades in the future with them. So who knows? If you guys watched my last video where I talked about sphagnum, um, there's going to be a bit of a continuation of that today. I went bright and early to Walmart because I couldn't sleep and bought a big old containment vessel for a prop box and filled it with that sphagnum I had. I already have a couple of things in here. One is a little Raphidophora crepantha just hanging out in here rooting away. My God, it's cavernous sounding in here. And this is the variegated Adensonia ooh, cutting that I won. It has not done anything still. And I did recently put some cakey paste on it to see if that hormone would help get it going. It didn't. And for some reason it started to mold. Um, I'm not sure if cakey paste really requires a lot of airflow and typically molds under humid conditions since I had a lid over it. So I washed that off, put it in this baggie. Several people suggested that they've had good luck getting nodes to root in a sphagnum baggie. So this is going in here. Just for safekeeping, I don't really want a baggy floating around in my house because it will get lost. I guarantee it. Like men's warehouse sort of guarantee, you know? Guarantee it. I have my heat mat down here where I was putting the little Aiden Sony eye cutting. So I'm just going to slap this box on top of there. I figured it would help stimulate some more growth with that bottom heat. It's also a pretty deep amount of sphagnum in there just because I think I'll probably have some rather long stem cuttings. Now I did debate just doing these in smaller individual Tupperware containers or even vases but I just figured that this is going to hold the humidity and lately I haven't had a lot of time or mental motivation to check on things so I figured if it's just in one area, it's more likely that I'll check on it versus a whole bunch of random containers. So yeah, guys, come with me and chop up some plants. So first one is a guy that's still not super big, but I don't know, I'm kind of in a fuck it mood and just want to propagate some stuff. So. This is my Syngonium erythrophyllum. This was my last kind of big splurge that I got at Plant Farm some months ago. Whew. I don't know why it's a little nerve wracking cutting your plants, but here's one. And this is just gonna be my propagation bowl. This also was from that haul. This is the Skindapsis Moonlight. Maybe that 
is slightly bigger than I intended, but half of this is my friend Jess's. Um, she wasn't able to snag one of these online um, since she had to work, so I picked up this plant for us both. This uh, floppy thing is the Painted Lady Philodendron. I've been saying for eons that I need to propagate it, and today is just going to be that day. I am hoping that it propagates okay in sphagnum. My friend Julia said that hers didn't, but I'm just not great with air layering. I let it dry out too much, so it's kind of pointless. I also don't love the shape of this thing, so... Whew. Oh my god, I can probably get two cuttings off of this, honestly. I may just let this go for now, let it kind of recover, and then prop it again. Some little Peperomia prostratas. I'm sure these will root pretty easily. This is my big Peru Monstera. It is just, it's kind of weird growth habit. It looks really nice at the bottom, and then there's a big chunk where there's no leaves, and then more growth at the top. Now, I've historically had trouble rooting this particular plant, um, so I'm not going to take too much. I'll leave this bit, try and propagate this, see if maybe, like, third time's a charm. Okay, this one might actually, in fact, hurt my soul to cut. This is my beautiful Syngonium Raei. I honestly don't want to cut it. It's so beautiful, and that top growth is amazing, but it is kind of a flimsy stem down here and the growth is at the top is much chunkier so i'm thinking that i might propagate it repot it in something bigger along with the propagation to get a more full looking plant oh my god this hurts Urgh. Ooh, that snapped off very easily. <laughs> oh my god, that's so sad looking. <laughs> I'm sure he'll recover. I'd also kind of like to stimulate maybe some growth at the bottom. There's two little points down there. Not sure if it's visible or not, but maybe cutting that top will help those get growing. All right, this is my Sultipacana. It is going crazy. I've already cut it, I think, a couple of months ago. Um, I've pretty much just been training it to kind of go up and over, but I do feel like I want to at least take one of these and propagate it, because, I mean, look at how many nodes there are along there. Big old chonker. So this beautiful plant is my um, Philodendron Campos Portianum and I love how quickly it grows and you can clearly see it is a plant that wants to keep rooting everywhere it goes. The aerial roots are just crazy on this thing. Um, I've already propagated it once for Suzette, and I do have another YouTube friend that would like a cutting, so I'm finally gonna get around to chopping this for her for a spring trade. 
I think I might also just um, do a little bit extra in case I want to sell a cutting or do more trades with it. This leaf here uh, is having a bit of a difficulty emerging. And I think this was literally the point in which I moved it from the greenhouse to just my living room. So a little bit of a shock. It doesn't really require as much humidity as other aeroids, but obviously it's still like something. So pretty. I think I might leave this top portion to keep it growing because I'd love to see some mature leaves develop on these. So I'll just keep propagating this one side shoot and leave this other to grow. All right, this massive boy is my modeled Syngonium. I have been meaning to propagate this for a while for my friend Jess. I just, I'm awful, I keep forgetting. So propagate it, we shall. Here's one, got some nodes there. And another, oh, that top one is gorgeous. Can probably even chop that again. And get some more. All right, one more. This is kind of addicting, guys. Another leafy. Oh my god. I don't know why, but this is very enjoyable for me. It's kind of just a fuck it, let's chop. What's the worst that can happen? It will regrow. It's a plant. It's meant to regrow. I wish I had thought this video out better and brought all the plants in here that I wanted to cut. But alas, I am not quite thinking today. This is my philodendron elegans, and I don't know, it's seen better days, kinda. I think it really dreadfully needs to be repotted. I think it's outgrown the sphagnum. It's also gotten, I think I showed you last video, kinda leggy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and chop and prop this guy, see if this stem will develop some roots. It should. I see some nubbins. I don't know why this one's a little bit scarier to me, but... Oof! Alright. That's him. I'm probably gonna chop this again at a few intervals and just put those nodes in the spag. A big variegated burl marks. I am always kind of baffled as to where I should take cuttings on this thing. It's such a contorted beast. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna cut this whole part off. Whew. That was... That was a lot, but... You can see the browning on top. That's where it's hitting my grow light that's hanging down on my rack. So, you know, they're just going to get burnt anyway. Might as well make use of this and propagate. Before I get too much further, I do want to start loading it in my box and see how much room we have left for more goodies. This is going to be a very weird setup video, but I just, I don't care. It's a kind of a just get it done day. Urgh. Oh god, nope. I'm going to chop up some of these guys just to get rid of all the space that doesn't really need to be there. I have 
four cuttings of the variegated burl. I'm just going to have to lean them to the side a little bit since they are so tall. There's kind of sort of nodes all along this piece, except up here. So I'm not sure where exactly I should be cutting. Now, Siltipicana is one that roots so easily that I will probably just go ahead and put these in the soil, which I have prepared over there in the other room. So I'll keep this for later. Trying to keep like with like, too. Campos. My beautiful Ray, I, I almost kind of sort of regret propagating this, but no, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Also, that guy has very milky sap. This indapsis. Oh, weird. The insides are totally pink. I'm just going to leave it at two cuttings. I think I can get some more off of this eventually, but I'm just going to do this for now. And the little peperomias. I'm just going to lay these kind of sort of on top of the really long... Elegans cutting since it's taking up so much lengthwise. And here it is. I still have all that middle for more cuttings. I just don't think my phone has much more space. So I will be back for round two, maybe a little later, maybe tomorrow. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, I think I have a little bit more storage space to get this video done. Um, also, I'd like to apologize. I had realized just how revealing this shirt is, but whatever. Let the nipple out of the bag. It is what it is, and it's on film. So I'm just going to keep going. Pay no attention to things happening. Um, so this is my very weird looking 
Splash Gordon Philodendron by Penifolium. Now it's super kinky because I think it really needed more humidity than I was giving it. Um, it's doing great in kind of the makeshift greenhouse. Let me dangerously do that. So I'm going to chop this. It It's really weird looking and I really want to at some point repot this and put a moss pole or some sort of stake on there. Oh my god, I swear to god I will chop this piece of hair off. <laughs> um, but I'm just going to cut it and we shall start again. I don't know where to chop it though. That was a lot. Probably more than I should have, but again, it is what it is. Now my philodendron hastatum or silver sword. This whole piece here is kind of clunky, so I will just go ahead and chop that off. Now, these are the last two I have, and honestly, I'm kind of debating if I even want to cut them or not. This is my aberrant form philodendron, and I freaking love this plant. Love how weird and contorted the leaves are. It does have this weird, large gap in the stem here before that new growth on top. I don't know, should I cut it? No pain, no gain. I did it. This is pretty much what I started with. I should repot this, I think, soon. And lastly, my Jose Bueno Buono. I am loving this brand new leaf. It's gorgeous. Much more intense than the rest of the splashy leaves. I don't know. It could be because it's really close to the grow light. But that's kind of the problem. It's starting to grow into the grow light, into the rack above. And I don't really want it to. So this is where I'm at. To cut or not to cut. Let's cut. Just done. And again, I could probably get a few plants off of these. I will I think cut right here. So I got a couple. I'm pretty much done cutting. I am going to get a few micans and Cebu Blue just because they're getting long and need to be trimmed up anyhow, as well as some of the Raphidophora Crypantha that's in my terrarium. It's growing pretty sparsely and getting whippy, so I'm going to propagate those and maybe try growing it up a panel of wood under my grow light see if maybe having it on the wood improves how it grows and maybe the intense light under the mars hydro um will sort of help the leaves get bigger that's my hope anyway i'm not sure if that will work but we shall attempt it there's that beautiful jose
having to lay this aberrant form rugosum slightly sideways. very sticky histatums. And lastly, the little bipenifolium splash gordon. Anyway guys, that will be it for today's video. I will probably do some propagation box updates in the future. I would also really love to know what you guys have been chopping and propping. And as always, stay safe, healthy, and safe. I will talk to you soon. Oh, goodbye.